deviation times four standard deviations. Okay, that is making more sense. And then this one, if we do it in feet, is going to be equal to the feet middle point, the mean, times the standard deviation times four. I'm not times, minus the standard deviation times four. So middle point minus four standard deviations will get us to the lowest x. And then we'll take the upper x, which will be the middle point, plus the standard deviation times four. Okay, let's add some decimals here. Home tab, number, decimalizing all four of them at one time. Boom. Decimalize. And then we'll close. Let's shorten this up. And so there's that. And then what we will do then is let's make these black and white, making them our headers. Home tab, font group, black, white, alignment, center, the inches. Let's make this smaller too. Let's wrap them as well. Home tab, alignment, wrap them. Wrapping. Wrap them like Santa Claus on Christmas Eve. Okay, so then we're going to say uh, we're going to start with the inches at the lower, which is going to be negative 30 so i'm going to say negative 30 and then i'll say third and we'll say then 30 this is going to be negative 29 and so on and so forth i'm going to copy it down till we get to 100. i'm going to say let's drag it down that's not too many i should be able to get there pretty fast it's still kind of far but it's not too bad i could have done my sequence formula to make it mas rapido faster but let's go back up to the top and then we're going to say okay let's do our norm.dist equals norm.dist and then we're going to take our x here comma we're going to take the mean which is going to be this one that's outside my data set therefore want to make it absolute f4 on the keyboard dollar sign before the i and the two comma and then the standard deviation, picking up this one, F4 on the keyboard, dollar sign before the I and the three, comma. Do we want it cumulative? No, therefore zero or false. Close it up and let's decimalize, let's, let's percentize it. Home tab, number percentize and decimalized. Percentize and decimalize. And then we'll copy it down. And there's our normal uh, distribution. And then we can look at the z-score, which would be equal to brackets, the negative number minus the middle point, the mean. And then I'm going to F4 on that one to make it absolute, dollar sign before the I and the 2, closing up the brackets, and divided by the standard deviation, F4 on the keyboard, dollar sign before the I and the 3, and enter. There's the z-score. Let's decimalize it. Home tab, number group, decimalize, and double-click the fill handle. So there we have our z-score. And then I'm going to make the p smaller. And let's do the same thing and say the feet also looks like it's conforming to a bell curve, of course, because it's converted. So I'm going to say let's do that here too. Let's just copy this format. Home tab, clipboard, format painter, pasting that here. And let's just play with this one. We're going to say, all right, the negative, the feet needs to go down. How low does it need to go? We're going to say it goes down to negative three and then negative two. And then we'll bring it up to 